So do you want to make hard beats that sound like this? But when you try and do it yourself, you end up getting stuck at basic things like music theory and chord progressions. Well, I have the solution for you. I've created a pack of 20 plus custom made midis and samples that will help you get over your creative barriers and beat block. Each one is labeled with a BPM, the key and the style of that specific midi so that you can easily find what you're looking for. If you want to download this for free, link is in the description. That being said, let's not waste any more time and let's make some fire beats from scratch. So the thing with these type of beats is that almost all have a very basic chord progression that they follow which is usually made up by a pad or a synth over which we add effects like reverb, delay, portal, finisher micro which by the way is a delay crystallizer effect that's free, link is in the description, etc. And for that I opened up analog lab and started searching for a synth like I said before and I found this one. Next I came up with a pattern that sounds like this. And then I added some effects over it and it made it sound like this. Then I layer that with the original melody and this is what they sound like together. Next thing I did is I added a piano and I pitched that down so that they serve as bass notes. You can add some variation here, I just like to stick with the basics, you can even add high notes and everything. I just find that on these type of samples, usually overcomplicating stuff ends up making the sample unusable. Then I created another copy of the original melody, which was supposed to be layered with the rest of the melodies, but it ended up instead replacing the original melody. I reversed it and I added some halftime to it and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Then I wanted to add a lead that was made up of two chords just to give it some depth. So I did and I added effects over it and this is what it sounds like in the end. You can see that I added a subtle delay. These type of effects just serve as complexity fillers. You can get rid of them if you don't like it, but I personally do. And I find that adding delay on your melodies gives it a very nice ending when every instrument stops. It just gives it that release. Then I wanted to find an accent and I found one in a kit that I downloaded yesterday. If you're interested, it's called the Illuminate Multi Kit made by Lucent. Then I added the accent, I made a copy of it, I reversed it and made it hit at the same time. And this is what it sounds like in the end. Then I added a perk loop on top again for complexity and then finished by adding a violin which I believe is a very important step. It's basically what makes this sample stand out from the rest. It's that one element that stands out. And I also added a bell at the beginning of each bar and what that does is that it makes the sample hit harder whenever it reaches the end of a bar. And this is what the final product sounds like. <laughs> Thank you.
Next up, I wanted to do a Lil Baby melody, and since most of the popular songs from Lil Baby have a piano melody, I've decided to start by laying down a piano MIDI, of which you can find plenty in my kit, and you can even get some of them for free, and this is what I came up with. Then I laid out a synth lead and I added some effects in a pattern that sounds like this. Then I separated the top notes of the piano from the low bass notes and added a reverb on them to give them more depth. And next up was a solo violin and I laid out a repetitive pattern for it. And then finally I added a violin to complement with the high notes and some vocals from Arcade and this is the final result. So this has been my tutorial on how to make melodies for future little baby STG beats, etc. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and comment to boost the algorithm. And until next time, peace.